So you want to come up with a scenario kind of where you're saying, well, isn't it possible that like any of them could potentially be false prop? And it's weird. It's like, like if you can come at the thing and, and you're saying, well, I'm not trying to offend you actually, but it's just it, it, the subtlety of like all of the things is such that, that there could be a mode where there, if there are modes in the scripture, like the Jezebel thing is like what happens. So you've got like two of them that will talk about like the Jezebel thing and, and the Jezebel thing basically is actually pretty important because what we find out Okay, remember I stumbled upon Deuteronomy 31, and in Deuteronomy 31, it says, well, you're going to read this letter every seven years or whatever. Well, I got something more intel on this the next day or whatever, because at one point, you know, when I'm listening to like Neville and Sadhu or whatever, they're, they're saying that... Um, they're making different, you're seeing prophecy like live and recorded at like a higher degree. Like the claims are, are, are higher is what I'm saying because they're, they're compounding quicker. So there's claims basically of ones that are conditional, which say, if you pray and do these things, these consequences can be what's forestalled. But if you can't, then they're going to happen. So it's like you're seeing it in the moment kind of. There's like more that's on the line or whatever. So when the actual prophecy is conditional and it, it's, there's more liberty in it and there's less certitude, then it doesn't exactly mean that the prophet is false if the people don't respond. Because there's like no way that Nineveh necessarily needed to repent or fast or do any other thing. So if there's consequences that happen because the people that are in the flock don't do the thing, then it's like, well that becomes a thing. But like there are other ones which there, there's certitude. Right? So there's ones that are optional where it's like, well, these negative calamities or whatever are going to happen. Like, there might be, like, dirty water that's in the area. There'd be, like, a lot of other things. But also what's going to happen is some of the prayers have still reached, like, a height or whatever. And there's been, like, promises that, like, they're still going to promise, like, this, like, huge res revival, like a Woodstock or whatever in, like, Australia. Right? It's like... How could that happen? It's like, well, one thing I was thinking was, like, if they moved the Justice League to, like, Australia or whatever to get off the radar, it could be, like, pretty fun. In other words, like, you have to look at it from the point of view, you're always rooting for, like, a revival, but, like, you don't know, like, when it's appropriate to, like, produce an outcome. If you say, like, well, yeah, like, if you... If, if some... Like, it, it becomes dumb, kind of, but it's, like... If you look at it and say, it's like, well, no, like, objectively, like, if I sent these videos out to, like, Stefan, right, in the second, because I said I sent them out to three people, it's like, well, I s sort of sent them out without the links to the lady that was reading the Book of Mormon stuff. But I, I mostly wanted to, like, cease contact and be like, well, I kind of view you as, like, somewhat of, like, a rock star from the point of view of a producer, because I can, like, look at you and say, well, no, you could draw this huge audience or whatever. And she's like, well, I'm, like, a nobody or whatever, and I'm like, nah, like... I'm sure your husband sees a lot in you. And, like, there was an instant where when you said this thing, you were channeling, like, Sandra or whatever. So it's like, but I can't, like, I can't produce her. I can't, like, actually give her encouragement because it's like, you're. It, there's a mode kind of where you say, well, there's, like, less controversy if I only address women, okay? But then there's, like, another mode when you get, like, higher counsel. Like, there's this guy, Joseph Prince or whatever, where it's like, well, if things tend to become, like, more omniversic or, like, have more of a religious veneer, then you, you want to err on the side of, like, the, the flesh being weak and potential temptation and, like, fleeing from even the appearance of something. So then it's like you have to switch gears, like, radically and, like, only, like, address basically the guys. So it's like you kind of know how to do both, but like there becomes a propensity of like kind of just like, well, we'll let the girls take care of themselves since there's actually like a demand for better husbands anyway. So it's like, well, I'm sorry, but it's like, I, so I just assume that it's like, well, she's never going to get back to me because it's like she's got like a particular like flock and it's like it's not exactly like her things like completely coincide or whatever. But then you end up sending the things, there's, like, the Scrubs guy or whatever, Zach Braff. It's like, well, you did all this stuff on Adam and Eve, and then they have this show, Alex, Inc., and there's this, like, really interesting, like, multicultural family, or let's say, like, biracial family, whatever, 
but it's like I can relate to that because like there's instances where I've had to like quote kind of like people want to know like who you're into and it's like well there are times where like I've I'm kind of into you know like brown girls or whatever but it's like so I see it and it's like I, I view it from the point of view of a, of a dad of like whenever I think about like schooling a kid or I think about issues, it's like how you would explain the specific issue has to deal with that. It's like we just talked about in an earlier video, like biological cane and normative cane. Well, you're going to have to get into that very quickly, actually, because it's like there's a lot of people that have like theories about like cane and things. It's like, what are you going to explain to your kid about? So that becomes like an interesting, it's like, well, yeah, surely they'd reciprocate. And then Stefan, you like send these things and these three sets and this huge letter but, like, what happens is, like, when you don't get the response immediately, you're like, well, there's no way. Like, I know basically from being on, I can't, like, lie and say that I don't have, like, an exceptional intellect. So when I lay this, like, huge proposition and give all this capital and all this credit, but then I have to, like, somewhat withdraw and be like, well, but I can't actually say that I'm going to, like, work for you for free or whatever. But, like, watch the things. It's like... I have to, like, brokerage and say, it's like, well, that we could be friends and, like, have a conversation, but I got to be on screen. But then the other thing is, it's like, I need cover on screen. Like, it's a liability for me to be on screen without the pixel art camera, kind of. Like, I need to be producing the effects. We need to come up with, like, a mode where we could do it. So, it's like, I end up getting the future why it's infeasible before him. So, that if he's working on it, because you have to view his kids, if they took any interest in the comment and being, like... That, like, one proposition, I've, like, never heard. It's, like, when I read it, I'm, like, it looks like looks like it's stuck in, like, the 1780s. So, it's, like, well, then that would have to, like, impress somebody. There's no way that it's stuck so much in antiquity that I have no peers. It's just, like, does he, because he says that he doesn't, 